Vermont Senator and Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders says health care is a human right, not a privilege. He is unveiling the latest version of his plan to get rid of private health care insurance and have the government foot the bill, estimated to cost roughly $35 trillion over 10 years. Republicans love the proposal as an election season weapon against Democrats, some of whom are not that thrilled about it. Here is correspondent Peter Ducey. How much of a trendsetter is Bernie Sanders? He's now got primary opponents nodding along with him. Please do not tell us that this is a rational health care system. Right, right. Kirsten Gillibrand later took the mic herself. This has to become the next social safety net. It has to become something that is there for you no matter what. No matter if you can afford it, no matter where you live, no matter what. And she's not the only one. Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, and Cory Booker are also running for president using the new Sanders-sponsored Medicare for All as part of their platforms. The American people want, and we are going to deliver, a Medicare for all single payer system. But candidate Amy Klobuchar is unconvinced. This is um, a strong idea out there, but I've made clear what I think I'd like to do to get us to universal health care um, more quickly and to move more quickly. And that is uh, to, first of all, put in a public option. Medicare for all would mean nobody pays a premium or a deductible and everybody is put under the government's care. This would mean adding 180 million people to the Medicare program. And with the government takeover, we can see from other countries that we're going to have long wait times and rationing of, of health care. Any questions? This total transformation of health care would also wipe out private insurance companies. Under Medicare for all, we cover all basic health care needs, so they're not going to be there to do that. I suppose if you want to make yourself look a little bit more beautiful, you want to work on that nose, your ears, uh, they can do that. So but, basically, Blue Cross Blue Shield would be reduced to nose jobs? Something like that. So this is the one jobs plan that just refers to nose jobs. And in the coming days, we should find out whether or not Medicare for All has more support in the Senate than the climate change addressing Green New Deal, which received zero votes. Brett? Let's talk about all of that. Peter, thank you.